Okay, guys, going to do a quick uh, speed test review of these uh, two iMacs. So what we've got here is um, on one side we've got, uh, let me open up the uh, about this Mac so you can see the specs on both these iMacs. Okay. All right. Well, it feels weird actually. I'm not uh, working between two screen, uh, one computer. I'm using two computers separately. One on each hand. Okay, so we'll start over here with the new one. This just arrived today. This is the latest 5K Retina iMac, late 2015. That's with the, uh, I think it's a Skylark processor. I'm not sure, but that's the 4 gigahertz i7 in there. Um, I've got the, the top uh, RAM in there, which is the 395X 4 gig of uh, graphics card, graphics memory. Um, I've only got 16 gig of RAM in here at the moment. The other 16 gig is on its way, so that uh, that will make a difference down the road. Um, but uh, basically, everything's spec'd out on this except for the RAM um, and the actual internal drive. It's using the two terabyte Fusion drive um, in this one rather than the uh, one terabyte SSD, which would have basically maxed it out. Um, and once I put the extra 16 gig of RAM in there, that'll be. Um, as much as Apple would offer. So it's pretty much maxed out on that computer there. Um, on the older one here, which is the late 2013, I pretty much maxed this one out when I got it back then too. That was the 3.5 gigahertz i7 in there. Um, I've got 24 gig of RAM in there at the moment. Uh, that's two fours and two eights. Um, and uh, that was with, at the time, the best uh, graphics card, which is the uh, GTX 780M 4 gig graphics card. Uh, graphics memory in there. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit both these computers. I'm going to do a quick speed test using the Blackmagic Design speed test. Now this is set up to be a four gig file and it's going to show the read and write uh, speeds for both. What I'll do is I'll let it cycle through a couple of times so that you can see the actual uh, top speed because sometimes it can take a few cycles before it starts averaging out. So here we go, we'll get those started now and just let them go. And you can see straight off the bat, the uh, the new uh, the 2015 is is killing the old one for write speed. Um, however, they're pretty much locked in on the read speed on the first pass. We'll see how that changes. I am expecting that to change quite dramatically. Yeah, there it is. On the second pass, um, we're seeing uh, 900 megabytes a second read speed and 638 megabytes write speed on the new computer compared to 300, 310 write and 6605 on the read speed on the old computer. Now both of these have got the Fusion Drive, so neither of these are running SSD, they're both running with the Fusion Drive. I think the older Mac is running with the the one terabyte Fusion Drive, I think is what I put in there. Yep, so that had the one terabyte Fusion Drive. There's a lot more uh, data on that computer, so it is uh, probably straining a little bit harder. Um, and this one here has the two terabyte Fusion Drive, so. But uh, wow, look at those uh, read speeds now, 1683.5. That's, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, how that works uh, in, uh, in the real world when I'm using it with applications, etc. If you look down here on uh, the scale here, it only seems to go to 2K for some reason. It's not showing 4K video, but we're showing 2K videos and stuff. Uh, writing at 35 and reading at 96 compared to over here. Uh, we've got reading, uh, sorry, writing at 15 and reading at 33. So that's a, it's a substantial difference in speed between uh, just that one generation of computers. So it's basically two years between uh, these two computers being uh, the top of their game. And uh, it just shows you how quickly things have advanced. All right, well, I'm going to get that stopped now so we can stop it there. Um, let me see that button again. So, yeah, we're getting some pretty, uh, pretty, huge jumps in speed between those two computers so that's uh, that's quite interesting I mean obviously running a different OS uh, at the moment I have to update uh, Yosemite to uh, El Capitan still but um, yeah a uh, major jump uh, in performance I'm really looking forward to seeing how this uh, processes video in particular the 4k stuff hopefully uh, you've enjoyed this review if you have uh, hit the subscribe button um, and I'll have a uh, a full in-depth review coming out a little bit later. This is just a quick speed test. This is Adam L. Happy shooting.